So, you know, taking action is, is, is a part of the way, right? And our goal, of course, my personal goal is to, as best as I can, use the moments that I have and the energy that I have, the power that I have to act in ways that minimize as much as possible overall suffering, recognizing I'm not perfect and we make mistakes and we take action and we pause and reflect and we see the result and we begin again. And um, if we can ground ourselves in these commitments and practices and ways of accessing the love in our hearts, then the actions that we take, you know, the, we're doing always just doing the best we can. We're never going to be perfect. But as best we can, we might be taking those actions that we think might be overall necessary to minimize uh, suffering and hurt. And I think that's really with humility, only, you know, the best we can ever do. I'm, you know, like Jack, I was looking at uh, inspirations for this work for me. And, um, you know, the great Dr. Martin Luther King is always an inspiration for me. Uh, you know, I grew up in the South, um, in the, born in the last year of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life on this earth, right? I was born in 1967. By the time I turned one, he had been assassinated for his own efforts to dismantle these systems of oppression in, in our country. And his letter from a Birmingham jail, we've all read, but I, you know, I never tire of going back to it, especially in moments like this. He began, he, it, it, the part that I'm going to quote, I cannot sit idly by, he says, in Atlanta and not be concerned about what's happening in Birmingham. 